Hello, this is Emily from Crochet Creations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a little bit different of a video. We are going to be doing some fall and winter project planning from September through December. I know it's the beginning of August, but I just i am really into the fall mood right now and I think that project planning will be a great way for me to focus my energy on what I can do and what I want to do later on this year and also to kind of keep track of all the different projects I have in mind and yarns that I've purchased or that I have in my stash that I really want to use for a specific time frame to see what I can fit into my schedule. You don't have to plan your projects. You can also make whatever you want in the moment when it's inspiring to you and I think that's great and I will give myself grace to do that throughout the rest of the year but I find myself more productive when I know the kind of things that I was hoping to work on so then I can decide do I still want to work on that right now. Oh yes, I do, that's a good idea. I did wanna make those socks and then I can go ahead and do that. Or if I look at my list and say, hmm, I don't think I'm feeling that yarn anymore. Let me see what else I have thought of or that's on my queue that I wanna make and then I can make that. Or just fly by the seat of my pants if I need to cast on something random and new. That's kind of my thought because right now my head is just a jumble of all sorts of project ideas and pattern ideas and yarns that I'm interested in using in the coming months. So right now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to plan. I'm going to take you along with me so we can figure out what it is I may end up making. <laughs> And you'll hear that I have my toddler in the background. She's playing on the bed right now. Another little disclaimer. So I do not expect myself to be able to complete all of these different projects. I have a lot of things I want to make. And I also understand that I probably won't be able to make everything. And that's okay. But I think it'll be really healthy for me to review the ideas I have. Kind of put them down on paper even plan them out in more detail for the time frame I think I'll finish things so that I can try to make some of these things happen instead of having only half finished objects like for an entire month like it would be really good to kind of have a plan in mind so let's take a look okay so I've kind of got all my materials laid out here on my table and I'll kind of talk about what I've got. I already have some calendars that I've printed out previously that I've put kind of some deadlines I have in mind, even a couple things that I've planned like pattern releases coming up later in August, whatnot. These are mostly blank because these are just, you know, specific deadline things I have on here. So we don't need to talk about that too much, but I'm going to use this to help me understand better what my capacity will be for choosing other projects to work on that are not pattern designs. So that'll be helpful for me. So I'm gonna set those aside. I've got some blank calendars. I printed these off. I just found a free calendar from online and I printed off two per page, but only printed one page at a time. So then I'd have a blank space. And so this way I can fill in a calendar and I can underneath in this blank space take notes about what projects I think I'll want to work on, what yarns I might want to work on, just kind of, this will be my workspace, and then I can go up and maybe make some plans in this calendar and kind of see what maybe other deadlines and things I have going on. So this will be kind of my big working space for each of the next four months, September, October, November, December. And then I've got my bullet journal here that I doodled on years and years ago and I'm finally getting around to using this random notebook because I Alfred I've got my make nine lists I have videos up on my channel already for those if you have not seen those already my regular make nine list my stash make nine list using old stash yarn and then my gift make nine list of things I wanted to make for other people as well as I have a six month update video on how I'm doing on those goals I'll link all of those down below and up above so I have some of those written out in here I can refer to those make nine lists in order to fill out these calendars and make plans and figure out what I want to do. I already actually just the other day I went through my stash. My yarn stash, I actually very recently reorganized my sock cube. So I put all my sock yarns here intended for mostly socks. I'd be open to using them for shawls and whatnot. Georgia, on the bed or off the bed? Uh. On the bed, then get on the bed. You can do it. There you go, there you go, you got it. Okay. Toddlerville. Hi, baby uh -huh. girl. 
You want to be in mommy's video? Oh. Yeah, come down here. Mm. Hi. <laughs> Are you going to show the husky? Husky. Okay, so anyway, I reorganized my... Oh, yeah. I re <coughs> Georgia. <coughs> okay, go play. Okay, okay. So I reorganized my yarn stash, my newer stash that I keep in here. I went through it and organized it. I've recently reorganized my yarn stash. You'll see George, I kind of peek in and over here. I recently reorganized my yarn stash. Just did a really quick, clear things out, make sure that things are feeling steady on the shelf since everything was just kind of discombobulated a lot. And so I went through it all. That was a really good opportunity for me to see the stash I have and make decisions on what yarn I think I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna show you that for the specific yarns I want to use for the next few months. And we'll set those aside so that hopefully we can so hopefully we can make sure those projects happen. So that's one part of the project. And I'm gonna also take a look at the patterns that I have in my library. Oh, oh. oh really? I'm gonna take a look at the patterns I have in my pattern library, my list of things that I wanna make soon, and we're gonna kinda combine all of that together to make a plan for what I am hoping to make over the next few months. Okay, big surprise, not a surprise. There was a lot of yarn I just pulled that is something that I'm really inspired by right at this moment. I have specific fall or winter plans for projects or that color itself makes me think of the holidays or winter or fall. So we've got lots. We're gonna go through some highlights, I guess, <laughs> and then we're going to kind of figure out maybe like the specific month that some of these yarns will go to, and then we're gonna move into some projects. Here we've got all sorts of projects related to my Make Nine. I have a sweater I'm hoping to make my husband, and that is a Christmas plan. I think it'll take a while. <laughs> so it's worth to wait, but it's a big cardigan, has some texture, so I think I'm going to have to start that earlier on. I've got this Snuggle Puff, which is an Aaron Heavy worsted weight that I'm going to use for my campsite waffle cardigan by Alex Tavel, and that's on my regular make nine. I have my leftover yarn from my Autumn Doodle cowl that I wanna to use to make an Autumn Doodle hat, and I wanted to make it, I was thinking kind of in September time, so that's kind of my thought. This will probably work up fairly quickly. It is color work though, but I wanna have a chance to wear it for the autumn since I finished my cowl last year at the very end of November. So a little bit late. So I didn't really get a chance to wear it because I was already into the holiday spirit by that point. Speaking of holiday spirit, ta-da! We've got all sorts of holiday themed yarn. Oh, this one's turned around. There we go. Lovely. This one, biscotti yarn, I just picked up from my local yarn store. Super excited for that self-striping. Peppermint cocoa, all the Christmas colors, Christmas cookie. This one's called Christmas cocoa, like all the Christmassy yarns. I have to make at least some kind of Christmas sock. Not sure which I would prioritize. Probably what I'll do is I'll wait until November or December, and then I'll just pick whatever sock is most calling to me at that time. But don't get me wrong, I've got some sock plans for the fall as well. Another one of those biscotti yarns, the stuff striping. And then I've got, this one's called October, and this one is called Squad Gourds. Ugh, love these autumny colors. Different vibes between these two and this one, for sure. These two go really well together, actually. We'll need to make a pair of autumn socks, for sure. I've got my Desert Vista Dye Works yarns, couple minis. 
that I know I'll be using the next few months for September and then October. So I've already got that decided. So I definitely will put those on the list. I don't have more yarn for November and December. I know I will get some. Those are kind of on hold for a little bit, but I'll probably purchase that around maybe October. So I can have the yarn from November and December. We shall see. George is knocking at the door. That's her new trick. Hi, sweet girl. Mm. Hello. Mm. Mama's still filming. Couple more socks I have in mind. This is Mezzo Makes. Ooh, I, you can tell I bought these at different times. But these are Taco Bell inspired, meant to go together. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I think that these would be so fun to do really soon before the cool weather really sets in. And same thing with this skein. This is from the Little Wolf Knits. I love these colors. And for some reason, this skein is just really calling to me. So literally has no like affiliation to the season or the weather or like holidays or anything. It just, I just want it now. Here's a couple other sock projects I've got going on that'll be coming up really soon here. So I'm making some stroll socks for all of my family. I've already done one for my brother. So the second one needs to happen. I've not started my dad's socks yet. I'm sure at least one of them will be done this month in August, but I'll need to get the other one done before Christmas time. That is the goal. And then last but not least, we have for the yarn inspiration, we've got a few different projects here that we're looking at. Ta-da! So start from over here. Teeny Button, this is called Wednesday in a Cafe, Taylor Swift inspired. This is just fall colors to me in like a really soft palette. I had a plan for these for my Make Nine to make a cottage core crop by Mezzo Makes and I'm just not feeling that right now. So I might make like a Maven top or something else out of these. I'm not quite sure, but I'm feeling drawn to these right now. These are from Coast to Coast Yarn Company. Let's see, Earthen is the tonal and polypore is the variegated and my plan with these is to make a harlow hat because i'm just all about brioche right now and i just think these colors would be so beautiful so i bought these skeins for that specific project and that would be perfect for the fall and then this is a skein wilbury fiberco this is the colorway sand castle and it's got like kind of mushroomy pinky tints, but it's pretty neutral and beige. I'm not sure what I want to make. I know I want to make a sweater, but I haven't decided whether it's going to be The Birch by Andrew Mowry or it's going to be Bibliophile by Alicia Plummer. I bought this yarn for Bibliophile, but now I'm not sure because it's not as pink of a yarn as I thought it would be when I ordered it. So it might work better in my brain for The Birch. I'm not sure, but that should become a sweater this season. That is a lot of yarn. I don't think I'll make it through all that. <laughs> in fact, I know I won't make it through all that in the next four months. It does make me think though, that I should get back to tracking how much yarn I bring in, how much yarn I use up, so I can gauge better how much yarn I can go through in, in a given month. And that way I can plan better for my projects and what I can accomplish. Because I feel like if I sit down and plan like this, I will plan more than I actually can make. Let's set up our calendars first and foremost so that we can start putting things in. joined by my little artist and her lips are blue because she drank some Gatorade not because she's like deoxygenated so yeah set up my calendar so we've got all the dates and I double checked everything so we should be good we will start I'm just gonna pick random skeins up and figure out like which month I think that they'll be good for and then I'll write that on the bottom of my page so then I can go back and then this is mommy's paper oh. yeah that's George's paper and then I'll be able to go back through and actually make more of a schedule throughout the month of what I think I'll be working on or what I want to work on things like that uh -huh. do, you, do you hear someone scootering uh. they're all gone bye bye 
Bye bye. Uh. Okay. Uh. Bye bye. Yeah, they're all gone. Uh. More? Okay, we will listen for more. We'll look if if they come back. Okay. Yeah. Then I can go back through and I can make more of a plan on what I think I'll work on throughout each month. But we'll start with the basic, like spreading it out between the four months coming up. My desert is a die work socks. Oh, do you hear them? Do you hear the scooter? Oh, do you see? There they go. Wow, they went so fast, huh? Okay, okay. we will listen for more. I might as well add the other Desert Vista Dye Works socks on here as like a slot. Just knowing that I need to still purchase that yarn. I'm not sure what it will be. A pair of Christmas socks, so I'm not sure what. I'm gonna take care of this off camera because this is a little overwhelming. So I'm gonna take care of these lists kind of per month off camera for the yarn. Kind of take care of that and then we will move into more project-based planning. Okay, not only have I written down kind of projects per month of what I may want to work on, I have also put away all that yarn. I know, right? Way to go me. But it's almost dinner time and almost bedtime for baby girl. So I'm gonna go through my make nines really quick and kind of figure out what projects I would want to put per month and also think of any project that I may want to make that has not yet been accounted for. Ooh, this reminds me that I have a bunch of whips that I need to include on these lists. So maybe I'll do my whips first and when I expect to finish them. I have a find your fade that I recently started working more on, but I started in February. Let's just assume we're going to be working on it the whole time and hopefully finish it by December because got to be done with it. I've made a few things. Totally did not even start my July socks. And I kind of missed my chance to do them in July. I'm just going to kind of do them whenever. I feel like September is the least fall month of fall, so I'm going to throw them in here. I have the yarn wound up and everything. I meant to cast them on in July, but it hasn't happened. And August is filling up really fast, so I will not finish those this month, I don't think. But I may start them. You never know. My oat. I am honestly going to put my oat off for January because I'm just not feeling the color palette right now. Autumn Doodle Hat, we have that. Oh, I thought that was on my stash make that and I guess it wasn't. Oh well. So I got that already taken care of. I've got my Campsite Wolf Cardigan on the list. Cottage Core Crop, I decided to nix. I'm not feeling it at the moment. Hey, that was easy. One list done. Stash make nine. Okay, half and half triangles wrap. That could be a really cozy make in maybe November. Let's see. Undesigned skirt. The yarn I have for that is just not for this time of year. So if I do do that, it would be with different yarn. We're gonna pass on that. Same thing with the Just Peachy crop. Maybe even the Just Peachy, I was thinking, not like a sarong, cause I don't wanna misappropriate a word. Like a little wrap thing, <laughs> but a small one to kind of put a longer swimsuit to look cute. Not really cover up, cause it wouldn't cover up that much. It would just look a little cute. Cause I just don't have a lot of yarn. Ugh. That season is leaving us. No, we're not going to worry about that. Lace weight socks. Ooh, that could be another cozy thing for November. And let's see, the Captiva crop. That is also some good fall colors. Let's throw that into October and just see kind of what happens. Some good old stash that would look really good in that, I think. Cumulus blouse. That'll be September if it's going to happen. And definitely some of these things are like no brainer or really obvious like wow that's a really heavy it's a bulky weight sweater of course I'm not gonna make that now but a lot of these things are kind of just arbitrary and kind of what I'm feeling right now and you know what that may change by October I may really want to work on a poolside scarf thing I don't know so we're just gonna go with what I'm feeling right now velvet V was kind of like an extra one we won't worry about that Gifts make nine. See, okay, we're blowing through this quicker than I thought. Gift make nine. Amigurumi food. That would be a fun little gift for Georgia. Her birthday's coming up. So maybe let's do that for October. It really wouldn't take long. I just need to sit down and decide what to make. Moonglade dress. That is a whip. I'm currently working on that. I want to finish that this month in August. But I'm going to put it down for September just in case. I'm going to put doll knits in December. So I got some things to make for Georgia for her birthday in October and some things for her 
Christmas. Viking cardigan, I already have that written down. Our Christmas Eve socks, I gotta make sure that's written down. To be honest, I probably won't start those until December, maybe the very end of November, like Black Friday, but we're gonna be doing some moving in December, it looks like. I've already got a lot of things on the list for December, but they're all really small things. So hopefully they'll be good to take with me in the car or, you know, taking a break from moving, packing, whatnot. I won't be able to work on any big things. So if anything, it'll be socks. So that's the plan. I thought about making a muscle burrow for my husband. I've got a hat already written down for November, my mushroom Harlow. So maybe I'll write it down for October. That's the only month I don't have a hat written down. I think I will do that. We are joined again by the toddler. <laughs> we are joined again by the toddler, hence why this is shaky, and I'm holding it now. So I have my make nine list written out for the things that I want to work on the next four months, and I don't think I'll finish all my make nine lists, which is not a surprise. I need to now put in the whips I'm currently working on and any designs that I have plans for or that I want to make over the next four months. Man, who knew there were so many layers to this project of planning? Hi, Georgia. Mommy needs to look. <laughs> Do you want to use a different notebook? Here you go. You can use that notebook, and Mommy can use her notebook. <laughs> Today it's feeling a bit chaotic. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Oh. But. I will be much more productive at this plan if I do it all in pretty much the same day and just like keep my thought process going. So I've got all my designs I already have scheduled out as well as a couple other designs I would hope to work on over the next few months. I threw them on the plan in general in the like workspace underneath and now I need to remember all the whips I have going on that I want to be finishing over the next few months. I've got my Find Your Fade and my Moon Glade already written down because I have plans for those. Those were part of my Make Nine. I'm being mauled by loved ones. So Find Your Fade on every single month because I just want to finish it by the end of the year. It's been such a long project and I'm really ready to be done with it. Oh, I have a No Frills sweater that I started before I realized that that pattern was not as size inclusive as it should be. So I'm going to finish it, but I am going to be better about only purchasing patterns that are size inclusive up through like a 60 or 62 inch bust. So that pattern, that would be great to start working on as the weather starts to cool down. Maybe September, the mornings have already felt cooler here, like had a cooler breeze in the morning. They felt more brisk. So I think that weather is coming to work on a mohair top. That one is like all stuck in it and I've already got the shorter shaping done. So I think that won't take me more than a couple months. So I'll just plan it for October and November. I've got a souffle, which should also work up fairly quick. That's already been started, barely like two rows in. That should also work up quick, but that is not fall moody colors. My souffle is like peachy, pinky. It is not good colors for the fall, whereas the no frills is. So if the no frills has to go into November, that's okay. I need to start my souffle and really get a move on in September. I don't wanna work on it in October. Let's see if I can get it done in September. Maybe I'll work on it this month? I don't know. I think those are the big things. I do have languishing whips and things that would be good to work on, but I've got a lot on my plate already. So if I need a new cast on or a new project, I will look there first and then look at my stash first. I don't know. I've got lots of options here. 
other whips I have right now. So I'm working on my brother's stroll socks. So I might as well write those down. I'll get at least one done hopefully soon. And then the other one I'll have to get done fairly soon too or else it's not getting done. I've got a test knit due this month. So that's just for August. I've got my DVD socks for August. I've got a tube sock that's just kind of back of the line. It's my emergency car knitting. So I don't need to worry about that. I think I've got everything written down. So as you can see, I've kind of got things written out. I've got yarns, make nines, whips I have currently, ideas for patterns that I'm going to make. And so I've kind of got that set up throughout. And you can see that September looks like the busiest month. I won't doubt that, but I think I'll be starting a lot of fall projects. So I'll have lots of whips and that'll kind of carry me through the rest of the year. But I do have a mix of like socks and garments, a couple accessories and things. So I've got quite a bit in there. And hopefully like things will settle down with like November and December because we'll be moving. Alright, so it has been a couple days, but now I have some time to myself. So I'm gonna sit down and finish doing this planning session. So we've already talked about what yarns I have that are inspiring me right now for the rest of the year. We've already talked about my make nine lists and we've already talked about the whips I currently have on my needles and hooks. I think the two other things I wanna talk about, I wanna go through Ravelry to look at what patterns I have in my library to see if anything is sparking joy that I wanna work on. I wanna see with my favorites how things are there, if there's anything that I know that's coming up that I would want to get. And then I also, I guess there's three things then. Then I also want to look at my languishing whip pile. So if you haven't seen, I recently reorganized my works in progress into a nice little bin. I went through them all, cleared it out a little bit. I still have lots of languishing whips. I need to go through that. And then there are some seasonal things. I'm gonna make sure to write those down on my list so that if I have a chance, I know what would be a good project to work on in any given month during the rest of the year. Because right now, August, I don't wanna work on a pair of worsted weight mittens, but it'd be nice to do that later on, maybe in like November, and then I could actually have the pair of mittens done since I have one mitten already taken care of. So that's kind of my thought. So let's take a look and see if there's anything that stands out to us. So I already mentioned that I might make the birch pullover. Not quite sure. I want to. I just don't know if the yarn I have is better suited for the birch pullover or for the bibliophile. So I have both patterns. So I have that written down. I guess we'll have to swatch and see. Oh, choose your gnome adventure. Yeah, this was an impulse. I saw that the next gnome mystery knit along by Sarah Shira is going to be happening. And that's in September, I remember I saw. So I'm gonna write that down because that is definitely a project I want to make sure I do. Awesome. So looking through some other library, there's a reason I have these. It's because I think I'm gonna make them, but which is calling to me right now. So many cute patterns. Ugh. So in a recent video, I talked about some DK and worsted weight sock patterns that caught my eye. And this one is a free pattern. It's called laid edges. It's got a cable detail running on either side of the foot so that you can have like mirrored socks. And I love this pattern and the fact that it's free I'm all on board. I actually have some yarn coming in for the Autumn Equinox uh, DK weight sock set. So I think that would be a perfect project to work on in September when that comes in. So yeah, that would be super fun and cozy and those would work up super fast. I already talked about Harlow. I have the yarn for that already. Got the souffle already started, but kind of barely. Maven top. I think I've pretty much gotten most things. Last year I did a Christmas sweater and I'm really happy I did that. Oh my gosh, that's a project I wanna work on, but I need the yarn for it, the Everett pullover. I think that would make a beautiful, beautiful sweater. So I need to find the yarn for it, but also I think it'd be fun. I have like a really deep foresty green sweater. I made the, I made Magnolia Bloom by Camille Vad, and I think it would be beautiful to make like a really deep red color so that they kind of go well together and are very Christmassy tones. And so that would be really fun. How long would that take me? I think I finished my Christmas sweater last year 
in about a month. I, like, blew through it. I had to put so much time into it. And Everett Pulver is a little bit, there's not lace, but it's got a little bit of cabling. It's worsted weight, not Aran weight. So, probably start that in November. I need to find yarn for that that would work. And also, I don't know with my skin tone what would work. I didn't really think about that when I made my other sweater, so maybe I shouldn't even worry about that. But... <laughs> That is an idea I had. I want to make some yarn cozies. I haven't made any. That's definitely not a priority. That might be fun for like a December small project. If I don't want to work on socks, I could work on yarn cozies. I feel like I'm far enough back in my library that I'm not going to find anything that is really sparking joy right in this moment. So I'm going to look in favorites super quick. And we're going to take a look and see if anything is something I want to prioritize. I think I'm all done. I don't see anything else that's really sparking joy in me at this very moment. So let's take a look at my languishing whips and see if any of those would be a good fit for the coming months. Here is my whip in and I'm going to go through and kind of take out the things I've already talked about and find the things all at the bottom that might be seasonal. This baby waffle sweater. I literally just need to fix the neckband. That's all I need to do. I need to work on this. I forgot, I have a bag. I already organized all the seasonal projects together, which is awesome. Go past Emily. I've got some little Amarga Rumi skulls in here for Dia de los Muertos. I say skulls, but I have one skull done, but not even embellished. This would be a good project to work on. Christmas stocking also would be a great project to work on because this yarn cannot be used for anything other than Christmas stockings, really. And the leopard mitten I mentioned earlier. Isn't it so cute? I need to make the second one. I made the first one for a pattern test and I have not bothered. It is not knit. It is crochet in waistcoat stitch. So I've got my projects. Let's put them on my list now. All right, so we have it all written down. There's a lot. I cannot possibly make all these things over the next four months, but this is a really good exercise to see what's inspiring me right now and what things I wanna make, and also to kind of make a plan and have ideas ready for what I would want to work on in different seasons. Now, I'm sure a lot of this will change, also, I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway. The top of each page has a calendar and I'm going to put important dates there, pattern releases, test due dates, maybe specific holidays if there's anything I should know about, a trip we're going on. I'm going to put big things like that here, but I'm not going to fill in like when I'm going to work on each project until I'm closer to the time at hand. So probably at the very end of this month, I'm going to go through September and kind of make a plan and have a better idea of what I want to work on and when I want to work on it. Maybe creating weekly goals for bigger projects so that I can put some time in. We will come back to that later, but I think that I've pretty much gone through everything that I wanted to in order to get an idea of what I want to work on. So let's take a closer look at kind of what I'm feeling for each month. All right, so September, there's a quite a variety of projects and it's kind of like all the things that I want to have done before the fall because they are more summary projects or projects that I want to have throughout fall to actually use. Projects I want to finish like my 90s Taco Bell socks, great summer colors, I'm excited for those. My Moonglade dress, I would love to finish that for Georgia because it is very summery. As far as more fall type things, my autumn doodle hat, I would love to be able to wear that when it's starts to cool down, the laid edges, DK weight socks, those would be really great to have as the weather cools down. My Maven top is kind of an in-between. I think it'll wear great for the summer, but also the color palette is very fall, and so that'll be a great transitional piece. That would be really nice to get done. So that's kind of what September is looking like. October will be a bit busier. I'm going to be finishing up a test, hopefully, for a sweater, which I haven't designed any garments in a long time, so that will be really exciting. I don't have a lot of different items on here. I do have some bigger things. So I've got quite a few socks that are all very fall related. I've also got some garments that I really want to put in some good time on. My campsite waffle cardigan, which will be good for cold weather. My husband's Christmas 
cardigan. It's called Viking. That'll be really good. And yeah, October is fairly open, but I think that I'll have some runoff from September moving into October with projects and stuff. November. Yeah, pattern release. I know I've got a blog hop going on. So that'll be a fairly busy month, especially as the holidays are setting in. My birthday, Thanksgiving, and then just moving into like preparing for the holidays. So I've got my Harlow hat, which will be really nice. Finishing up those garments, maybe starting a garment for fun on my birthday. Maybe if I don't start it before then, because I'm like kind of itching to cast it on, but I need to decide what that yarn will be, a birch or a bibliophile. So it looks kind of similar to October, but we'll see how it goes. And I know I have my Christmas sweater. That would be really nice to start. I have to have triangles wrap, which is a pretty big project too. And then December, oh my goodness. It's gonna be busy. We're gonna be moving and we're also traveling for Christmas. I'll need to do my Desert to Dye Work socks. It's basically all socks. All socks. Christmas socks for my family, finishing up my husband's cardigan for Christmas, make sure that I have all the pairs of socks ready for my immediate family, my parents and my brothers. Oh yes, I have all sorts of Christmassy yarn. It'd be fun to do even just like a pair of vanilla socks out of that Christmas yarn. All the, all the socks. A couple other like small Christmas projects, my Christmas stocking to finish up, some doll knits for Georgia's doll. So like, Lots and lots of little projects that will take up a little bit of time each, but it'll all add up. So I think I'll be busy in December. All right, there you have it. Those are my plans for the next four months as we move into fall and the beginning of winter, kind of what I envision for the rest of 2022. All sorts of projects based on yarn, based on my make nine list, some languishing projects, other whips I have going on. There's all sorts of categories that I've kind of tried to put all together so I can see it all in one place and make decisions based on what I want to work on in the moment and what's inspiring me. I hope that this was informative and inspiring for you. Let me know what your plans are for the rest of this year and if you have any patterns or yarns in mind that you really want to make sure to prioritize for the rest of this year, let me know down below. I love hearing especially about seasonal things. Fall is my favorite and I'm so so excited, hence why I'm planning right now for fall so that as soon as September hits I can go full sprint and enjoy the fall and winter seasons. So until next time, happy making, bye.